I'm like getting fed up with this news. Do you remember when they said, um, when this first started coming out, they said, just a cold, bro. Um, then they said, oh, our hospitals can handle it. We got more than enough beds. Oh, we can, we're not like these foreign countries. We're, man, I don't know. It's terrible. But anyway, hey, listen, I want to do this video on this. This is my new grill. I might as well, cat will let me at it. I might as well put this thing together because when I bought it, there was like hardly any documentation or pictures on it. So this is a Nex grill, N-E-X-G-R-I-L-L, -L. Nex grill, charcoal kettle. And uh, I'm going to start putting this thing together. By the way, uh, my Costco order is being filled. They're going to be delivering that shortly. I must have told her three times not to jump up there because it's dirty. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit. You know, the car people, you guys might not be interested. But Gadgeteers, you might like this. Might want to see what this grill is all about. It was... Um, i trying to remember how much it was. I think it was 200 bucks. And and the uh, that one out there... I got that one for free through like a credit card rewards thing, but uh, they want like two seventy five. They're out of their mind. So anyway, I bought this one at Costco, and uh, let's put this thing together. Be strong. In this thing. All right. Look at both of them. Let me put the light on. You guys gonna help or what? Come on, boo. So, I'll tell you right now, this grill. Is way thicker. Than the uh, Weber one. Way heavier. Um, I think it's also 22 inches. I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll measure that later. But um, yeah, this looks pretty good right here. Registration. Y'all register your stuff. I find that they always ask for a receipt anyway, and it doesn't make it make any difference. Hardware. I like it when it's like that. It makes sure it's, I'm missing anything. But um. All right, I'm gonna start assembling this thing. Kitchen Guys, I said I was gonna do this. I am gonna compare the Weber grill to the next grill that I got at Costco. So I had this one here, and if you look the, on the side there, the thing that holds this up, broke. I suppose I could have just put a bolt through there to hold it up. But, uh, I don't know. I've had it for a while. I wanted to just change this whole bottom piece out. I couldn't buy the bottom piece. Look how thin the grill is, too. Um, so I was going to order a whole new one. 
you know, and they wanted. Now, I got this one for free through credit card rewards, so I didn't know what it cost. Um, but then when I did look it up, they wanted some crazy price, like $275 or something for this thing. Um, anyway, this one, Costco, $199. And um, as you can see, this is much nicer. Stainless steel tray. Still got a place to put your utensils. This is a plastic. These are metal. Look at the difference in the size of this grill, the thickness of that grill versus this one. Mm. These come up too on both sides. Real thick, heavy. And I believe, I don't know if this is stainless or if it's uh, chrome. I can't, I can't really tell. I prefer stainless, of course. And uh, the top is way heavier. Look at, the, look at the way this top is designed. A little gap right here. So this handle doesn't get hot. It's a much nicer handle. Let me close this one. Then the Weber. Yeah. <laughs> Weber's little thermometer, which is pretty accurate versus this one. Uh, and I get the vent in the back. So it's... No, it's like, this is going to be a problem for me to get used to. I'm used to going over to the left, and this one's going to be over to the right. So it's going to be a little backwards. But, um... <clears throat> big spot on the bottom. Now, let's look at... <coughs> let's see. Close this up. Look at the size of this. This is way heavier on the knees. And then this bucket. You know? Look at the look at the difference in this design. This bucket versus this little Oh shoot, I'm dumping this shit. See those bends? The whole, the whole thing's falling apart. So, yeah. Total. Pokiness there versus this. And look at the size of those studs. Yeah, no comparison. So this one was $199, free shipping. I think this one was $279 or something. I don't know. But quality of the Weber, way gone way downhill basically a piece of crap versus this thing here and I think this is made by Sunbeam I'm not sure so I kind of recommend it if you can get it at the store try to get the store when they shipped it see they dented it got a little dented but I'm still pretty happy with this um, overall I'm gonna call them tell them it was dented see if they give me a few bucks off but yeah next grill Costco.com that's where I would go all right later all right, Sue and I are heading to the grocery store. They're supposed to be able to just put the stuff right in the trunk, including some medications for her mom. So uh, hopefully that goes well. Gonna drive the blockade runner. That's what I'm calling her. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully everything goes good. We gotta, we gotta go to the next town over. It's about a 30 minute drive. Hopefully we don't get bothered by cops. All right, later. At the grocery store, we're doing the express thing here, but uh, we're just watching the people coming in. No gloves, no, no. Well, we saw one lady with gloves, eye protection, and a mask. Um, but most people, no, no, most people are just you know doing their thing, just like any other day. 
you know, and it's busy. A lot of people out and out. There's a lot of traffic here, and yeah, it's like Subway is open. I don't know if Moe's is open there. There's a Japanese stir fry here that's really good. <laughs> it just, I don't know. Nobody's got not nobody's concerned at all. Bring the baby. This lady's bringing the baby. Okay. Wow, that's that's good. Bring the baby shopping. I don't know. I thought we had some sort of virus. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe this was just all made up. <clears throat> not enough dead people. Tell me about Debbie. Oh, and my friend at the uh, who's a nurse RN at the hospital. No mask for doctors have masks, but the nurses don't. Go figure. All right, guys. So um, breaking in the grill. Got the charcoal. So you know, a lot of people don't use the charcoal starter. I got into this because it's just two pieces of uh, newspaper. There's no fuss, no muss. It heats this charcoal up in about 15 minutes, and it's rip roar ready to go. As a matter of fact, it's just about ready now. And uh, so here's the new grill. I'm pretty happy with that. I got a spot to hold this grill right here. Got my little ham radio here, so I'll be able to listen in on action. I'll be sending this thing out to pasture. Sometimes what I do is I uh, I take it apart and I throw it away one piece at a time in the in the trash. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I don't have a truck to take this to the dump. So I don't know. I gotta figure that out. But yeah, this is good to go. And wait till you see the steaks I got for it. So I like to put the coals on the right side. That'll be my hot side. And then the left side is the cold side. I like to have a couple coals over there on the left side. And I put my hickory in there so it'll smolder a little bit. Man, it's hot. Okay, so let me get my, uh, get my steaks. Put the grill on here. Can't do it one-handed because this thing is really heavy. All right, so uh, getting everything ready here. I'm gonna spray a little. This is gonna flare up when I spray this stuff. I like coconut oil. So to get the steaks. Steaks I got. Ribeyes, look how, look how thick they are. Man, these things are huge. And I like using a stopwatch. I'm gonna sear it a couple minutes each side. Oh, mama. These things. I do love Costco. <laughs> it don't get any better than that. So, um, I use McCormick steak seasoning. Love that stuff. But then I also hit it with a little bit of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. I can't even say that word. But anyway, that is my, uh, my secret sauce right there. It makes these steaks really good. Not a whole lot. I mean, you can barely see it on there. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go about two and a half minutes on each side, and then I'll move it to the other side. The new grill. Gotta love it. <laughs> 